This Faith Thing, episode 98. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is trusting in God with all your heart. Faith is knowing that all things are possible with God, that nothing is too difficult for God to do. This faith thing can be easy when we have God on our side. Faith is the word of God. Welcome back for another episode. When God created the earth, he created all that we will need to sustain life. There's nothing that God created that was a mistake or that has no purpose. We as man may not know what the purpose of that substance is, but it has a purpose. Salt, we may know, is a seasoning, meant to season our food, meant to give food flavor. When you add too much salt to your food, it will destroy the food, but if placed in the correct amount, it will flavor your food beautifully. Salt also has other useful purposes. Salt can be used to clean. When washing clothes, it can be placed into the wash water so that the clothing that you're washing will not bleed. And if it does bleed, it can soak up the excess dyes. Salt can also be used to clean wounds, friends. It may be used on the site of an injury to clean up that wound, to clean out the bacteria. It will burn, but it will get the job done. Salt can also be used to melt ice. As we know, for those of us that live in areas where it snows, they place salt on the ground to melt the ice. Any place that you see salt, salt has a purpose. It's meant for something. It is not a useless substance. It is a very useful substance. Whenever you use it correctly, it will serve its correct purpose. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, beginning from verse 19, actually 19 through 22, we see the story of Elisha that he's using salt for a very specific and particular purpose. And that purpose is what I want us to go through today. Now the men of the city said to Elisha, Behold, the situation of the city is pleasant as my Lord sees, but the water is bad and the land is unfruitful. He said, Bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went to the spring of water and threw the salt in it and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From now on, neither death nor miscarriage shall come from it. So the water was healed to this day, according to the word that Elisha spoke. You see, we have the story here. Elijah had just been taken up. And now these men, these city men, they came to speak with Elisha because there was a problem in their land. They came to this prophet Elisha to give him the news of the land, to let him know that in this land there are bitter spirits and the land is barren and it's very unfruitful. And the people were stressed out and they had no solution to their problem. Their souls were fruitless, not yielding any fruit not yielding any form of increase. And now they came to discuss this with prophet Elisha. We should know that Jericho was built in disobedience. And even though it was built in disobedience, people were never forbidden to dwell there. Even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was recorded to have passed through there. It says in Luke chapter 19 verse 1 that Christ entered Jericho and was passing through. So people did dwell there and the city was making do with what they had. But we should know that it was built in disobedience. And so now these men, these city men, like I've said, they've come to Elisha to give him their grievances. That they had no water to drink and that their land was fruitless. Now when you encounter a prophet, friends, when you encounter a prophet that is being used by God, a man or a woman that's being used by God, their situation in that particular place that they've entered, these very bad situations that people are experiencing, they are to make it good through the grace of God, through the works of God. And that was what Elisha's purpose was in that place. This land had been barren before. It was fruitless before when Elijah was there. But when you read the Bible and you study the Bible very well, you will see that they say that these men, either they were afraid to go to Elijah because Elijah was tough or maybe because Elijah was not easily accessible. But at that time, they saw that Elisha was accessible for them and they went to him. And now they told him what they were going through. And so when they explained to Elisha the problems that they were facing. He specifically told them one thing, just one thing. And when you read the book of 2 Kings 2 verse 20, it says that he said, bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. 
bring me a new bowl, new bowl, and put salt in it. Some other versions say, bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. Right? A new cruise. Put, put salt in this new vessel, in this new pot. The Bible records that Elisha took this salt that was brought to him and he took it to the water and he threw it into the water. And by him doing so, the water was healed. That's the point that we're bringing out now. That the water was healed when he threw salt into it. And the ground that this water was supplying now became fruitful. He said to them specifically that thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From now on, neither death nor miscarriage shall come from it. And the water has been healed to this day, according to Elisha. Friends, when you are in a situation and you go before God, that situation is considered to be old first and foremost, because whenever you go to God for healing, one thing that he's going to do is to make your situation new. He's going to give you a new, fresh start, complete fresh start. All those old things, old experiences, old pains, they will pass away. When Elisha threw this salt into the water, he changed the water from an old state to its new state, giving it new purpose. This is exactly what happens whenever you go to God, whenever you go to the presence of God and you come to him wholeheartedly for a change. You're desperate for a change and you go to God, you go before God seeking his face. God is going to change your situation, friends. He will change that situation from an old situation that was causing you pain and grievances. He will give it a new story. He will give you a new story. He will clean you up. No one else can do this cleaning. No one else can do this changing from old to new except God. No man. Even if God is using a prophet in the land to assist you. That blessing is only coming through the grace that is working through that prophet from God. No human being can change anyone's situation unless God is working through that person. It is important, friends, that you go to God when you are in tight situations, when you feel that in your life there's barrenness, unfruitfulness, pain. You need to go to God and seek him out. Whenever you are cleansed by God, he will clean you out with salt and you will be cleaned forever. Because look at it in the book of second Kings chapter two, it says, so the water has been healed to this day, according to the word that Elisha spoke, the water has been cleaned until this day. It didn't say that the water will be cleaned for a time. When you are cleansed by God, you will be cleansed forever. Whatever the pain was of yesterday, that was the pain of yesterday and you shall not see that pain anymore. When God restores your soul, when God cleanses your soul, it is a permanent change, friends. It is not a change that takes place for a time or for a season. It is a change that takes place for eternity, forever. Because that's the God that we're serving. God heals the soul. God can restore barrenness. God can restore miscarriages because he is God. God needs new vessels, new vessels. Whenever you go to God, just like when Elisha told those men, get a new bowl, take a new bowl and put the salt in. He never told them to go and just get any bowl. He was specified what he needed from them. I need a new bowl that you're going to place this salt in. When you have a new bowl and you're placing this salt into it, it's representing that new vessel, you, the new vessel in which God is going to cleanse out and take out every form of barrenness, every form of pain, miscarriage, unfruitfulness out of your life. And because you are a new vessel in God, because God has taken you and he has cleansed you, whatever in your life that was dead, useless, meaningless, because of this new bowl, because of this new salt, God has now given you purpose and he makes you very much meaningful. God can fix any problem, friends. He can give you a complete tune-up for free. The substance, salt, is very useful, friends. We can see it being used in so many different aspects. Whenever God is going to use salt to cleanse you, it will now represent that you have been made useful, valuable. Friends, salt, this substance, many of us know it as a seasoning, but it has many purposes. 
It represents usefulness, value, purification, restoration, and fruitfulness. When you allow God to clean you out with salt, friends, he alone will make you useful, valuable, purified, restored, and very fruitful. It is only through God that you will get this restoration. It is only through God that you will receive this purification. This message is for those who feel like their situation is very old and God can do nothing. God is able to do something all the time. This is God that we're serving, friends. Allow God to cleanse you out because only God can do it. Only he can do it for you. Friends, I hope that this message has blessed you. Go in peace and I'll speak with you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in to This Faith Thing with Adela Duni. Please head on over to the website at thisfaiththing.com to find the show notes and everything mentioned inside of this podcast. I pray that you have been blessed. Go in peace and I will see you in the next episode. God bless you.